What's up, y'all? This is Sire back on the reaction, y'all, from the Fat Mass Podcast, y'all. I got that reaction for y'all. Before we get to this reaction, y'all, please hit that like button and subscribe button, y'all. And please do share a video with everybody, see your family, friends, whoever you see. And tell them to subscribe to the Fat Mass Podcast, y'all. If you like to go see the original video, it will be up in the description, y'all. Say original video, and at least be right beside it, y'all. And if you have any comments, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I do read all of them. I might respond to them, but I definitely do read them, y'all. But hey, y'all, what's up for this reaction, y'all? It's from the Fox News channel. And the title is Mom Dresses as a Cat to Combat Woke Schools. So we'll see how the mother came out and see how the mother was about to talk about. And uh, obviously, we got Jesse, we got Jesse Waters, the prime time. And uh, what's good up in here, y'all? Gonna be, I, I'm not gonna start the video either, so all right, y'all. kids lives in danger to protect what exactly we don't know any kid in those schools could tell you that men and women are not the same just like they could tell you this cat lady isn't a cat i am a cat meow meow i'm not a woman dressed as a cat i am a cat by show of hands i'm curious uh how many of you believe and confess that i'm a cat Great. I am, by show of hands, I'm curious, how many of you believe that your child or a child from this school would believe that I'm actually a cat? No one. You are right. Truth prevails over imagination. Reality exists. Discernment is innate and something we are biologically wired to have. One look at me and you know this to be true. I am a woman posing as a cat. <laughs> Lindsey Graham, the cat lady herself and host of the Patriot Barbie podcast, joins me now. So, Lindsay, what was actually happening at this school district that made you have to dress up as a cat to prove your point? Well, first of all, Jesse, I'd like you to not miss a species me. I'd like to be addressed as a cat for the entirety of this video, of course. Of course. Uh, so I apologize. This was in my... Thank you. Thank you. Just inclusivity is all I ask, you know. Um, this was a local school um, in my neighborhood where there was a member of the school board whose name is Paul Bixler. He is a man, he's very clearly a man, and the only thing he does to identify as a female is put lipstick on, uh, he grew his hair out a little bit, and he wears his deceased wife's clothing to school, uh, to uh, sporting events, to fundraisers, to school events in front of the children, and believe it or not, he actually demands on being identified one of two ways, either Paul, which is a man's name, of course, or Miss Bixler. So it's very clear that he has a gender identity crisis. And not only does he appear in front of the children and insist that the children, you know, define him as a woman, but he sits on the board and he's making decisions for these children. And the point that I was trying to make as a cat was that, I mean, obviously you can't just identify as whatever you want and you can't demand that other people identify you as whatever you want. But someone with this kind of mental illness can enjoy that mental illness all they want in the comfort of their own home. But when you put them in charge of children, we're talking about a new type of indoctrination. And that's what's really terrifying is seeing these people in charge of our kids' education. Yeah, if he has to grieve over his dead wife, he can grieve privately. But wearing his deceased wife's dress and putting on lipstick and growing your hair out and insisting you're a woman in front of what grade is this precisely? This, this is elementary school. So these are young, vulnerable minds. And the teachers, the rest of the school board are identifying him as Mix while he's talking in just the deepest manly voice that he was born with. And so to see these, these parents, these adults take no responsibility for the education of these kids and to teach them true right and wrong and true biology and true facts and science and truths um, is just so alarming that we have this in the school system. Real quick, when you did this at this hearing, did people understand? How did they react? Uh, this is a great story, actually. The next day at the gym, I saw one of the members of the school board, and he looked at me a little odd. I said, I'm sure you don't want to remember who I am. And he said, the cat. <laughs> and I thought he would proceed to chew me out. And he said, you know what? Thank you so much for getting up there and saying what you said. Thank you for being bold enough to speak truth. I've been fighting this agenda. I've been fighting this teacher and this school board member. There are people, there are people on our side and all it takes is just a few of us to stand up and speak truth and find those partners in crime, if you will, 
and then we really can unite together and fight back against this and save our children. What kind of exercises does a cat do at the gym? Oh, you know, gosh, there's got to be something zingy I can say here. <laughs> Lots of squats, <laughs> uh, litter box press, kitty kitty nip presses, you know. <laughs> All right, meow, meow. Thank you very much, Lindsey yeah, Graham, yeah, not the senator. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here. All right, yeah, that's the end video. It was a short little video. I just really just wanted to see that. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like some, like, as she said, like a cat. Like, you know, I thought she liked to. She is woke or something like that, but she combated. She combated woke. That's sad that a man up in the school elementary, elementary, that he's wearing his dead wife's clothes. That's weird. Like, I don't know what what people would agree to this. I don't understand. You really have a mental problem if you agree with this. This is like your kids, your kids, young kids. Hey, uh, what's it? Uh, you say, uh, uh, what's it say? Uh, kindergarten or uh, elementary school, which is K and six. It was a K to six, sixth grade. So that's weird. Like, I don't know where y'all getting. Like, this is okay to have in your school. That, it, and I don't know whoever would give. Like, who would agree, agree with this? I would never agree with this to see my kids, a man dressing up as, as a dead wife, his dead wife. Like, that's weird. With his masking ass name. How are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, it didn't dress up as a woman, like a, like a damn dress or something like that. Obviously, this man needs therapy. He needs therapy. Like, seriously, something wrong with these people out here, man. Just like the TikTok people. Like, these people are crazy, bro. Like, I don't know where they're getting this. Like, it's okay to have this in your schools. We can't, you can't teach truth now because this shit is weird. You say bio, you say biology, this is a biological man, a biology, um, a bio man, a bio uh, woman. They, oh, 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 biology doesn't matter. What? What? Oh, if you, if, if the doctor points out what you have, we are a baby, a penis or a, a, a vagina. Oh, 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 they miss, they miss, um, uh, what they call it? Miss, um, miss, uh, miss sex me. What the hell they call it? Miss gender me. What? 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 And you don't, these are on this, these people don't understand that when you go to a hospital, all they're going to do is ask what you are. You know what I mean? You they can't you can't just deny that you're a man or a woman. And I don't know. I've never been a doctor. Y'all tell me if y'all are a doctor or something like that. Uh, Cause I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you have to get like what they really are, a man or woman. Cause it's that they have different treatments for men and women. Yeah, I mean I don't I don't know if, I don't know like if you need to draw blood uh draw blood. And you you know what I mean? I, I'm not for sure though. I'm not for sure. I'm just I'm just I'm just asking. But this is crazy, man. This is crazy. I, I like how the women went up there, you know. Obviously, obviously, seen in the cat. Most, most elementary school, most high schoolers, most people in the entire world know she's not a cat. She's just up as a cat. She, she, we all thought, I thought it was Halloween or something like that. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Hey, y'all, that's the end of the video. Y'all tell me what y'all think up in the comments, y'all. I really would appreciate y'all comments. I do read all of them. I might respond to all of them. I definitely do read them, y'all. And if you'd like to go see the original video, y'all, it will be up in the description, y'all. It'll say original video, and the link should be right beside it, y'all. Um, please hit that like and subscribe button, y'all. And go ahead and share the video with everybody. See your family, friends, whoever you see. And tell them to subscribe to the Fat Man's Podcast, y'all. Or sign us off from the Fat Man's Podcast. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, y'all.